Hello, welcome to online tutorial of WorkFusion RPA Express created by Tilak Patil. Today, we are going to discuss how to read and write data in Excel. WorkFusion Excel can be used for opening a specified Excel spreadsheet, which can be XLS or XLSX, and performing data manipulations on it. Let's discuss this operations with a demo. Consider a XLS file, containing names of companies in column A1. Let's write a script. To get stock price of listed company names and put the stock price in corresponding cells of column B1. For that, create a list variable to hold company names. Double-click on Open Spreadsheet. Give the location of file containing company names. Now, double-click on Get Column. Select column position to first from drop-down as our company names are present in first column. Select the save result to list variable drop-down to company name list. The above actions will open Excel sheet and copy its column A1 content in company name list variable. Now, we have to obtain stock price for the company name present in the list. For that, drag drop open website. Give the site URL as hash symbol. Set browser drop down to Firefox. Give wait of 10 seconds. Make sure that you have configured Google as default browser search engine. Now, drag drop for each action inside the open website action. Double click on it. Now, write company in text box and select company name list in drop down. By this action. For each company present in company name list, the actions under for each will be repeated. Now, drag drop mouse click under for each action, double click on it, select click on image radio. Select mouse button to left button. Select type of click to single click. Open the Firefox browser in background. Now, click on capture image. After the countdown, select the URL area for clicking. Now, drag drop clipboard under the for each action. Double click on it. Select copy variable value to clipboard. Select variable to company. Drag drop enter keystrokes. Double click on it. Select key combination and press Ctrl V. Click on save. Again drag drop enter keystrokes. Select type text. Now type space and stock price. Again drag drop enter keystalk. Double click on it. Select key combination and press enter. The above actions will paste company name in browser URL. Type stock price and will press enter. Now, we have to capture the stock price from internet and save it in a variable. For that, create a variable temp price to hold the price value of current company in loop. Create a variable which holds stock price for all companies separated by semicolon. Create a list variable to hold stock prices as list. Now, drag drop web element inside for each loop. Double click on it. Select get value radio. Now get the X path of the area where stock price is displayed. For that open Chrome portable browser as discussed in lesson 5. Search company name stock price. Now get the X path of the stock price area as shown. Paste it in X path of element text box. Select save variable value to temp price. Give wait of 5 seconds in wait text box. The above action will collect the stock price and will store it in temp price variable. Up till now, we have created three variable for stock price. 1. Temp price. 2. Colon separated list. 3. Stock price list. We will collect the current company stock price of loop in temp price variable. 
After that, we will append all the temp price values in for each loop to colon separated list variable. Once the for each loop is complete, we will type cast colon separated list variable whose data type is string to price list variable whose data type will be list. The current value of stock price in for each loop will be collected in temp price variable by the web element. Now, we have to join it to colon separated list variable. For that, from text, drag drop join string, double click on it, click on add, select temp price from drop down. Again, click on add, select colon separated list variable from drop down. Now, in separate elements with drop down, select semicolon. As, we need semicolon separating two values. Select save value to colon separated list variable from drop down. Now, outside the for each loop, drag drop split action, double click on it, select variable to split to colon separated list variable, select separate element with to semicolon, select save result to stock price list. Now, we have to paste the stock price in XLS, in column B1. For that, drag drop open spreadsheet. Double click on it, select the file location of XLS sheet. Make sure that you check the save file after last action checkbox. Otherwise, the file will not be saved after pasting the stock price in XLS. Now, double click on set active cell. Click on coordinates. Give coordinates B1, as stock price is to be pasted in column B1. Now, drag drop for each loop inside the spreadsheet action. Double click on it. Select stock price lint from drop down. Inside the for each loop, drag drop set cell value. Double click on it. Select position. Select cell position to current. Select new cell value to item. Drag drop set active cell. Double click on it. Select position. Select cell position to below. The above actions will open XLS file. And paste the content of stock price listing column B1. Now, let's save and play the recording. Our script ran successfully. Now, let's see the output in XLS. As you can see, the stock price is listed in column B1 in front of company names. This is it for today. Comment down suggestions if any. Goodbye and have a nice day.